All right, so I was kicked from the Hangover Gang group on Facebook. And I say the Hangover Gang group because it's the one that, uh, it's the one that Tom and Nova are a part of, all that. I think uh, Brandon Hart might be in it as well. So anyways, why was I kicked from it? Well, I've always stated that Nova's great. Nothing that Nova does ever disappoints, musically or when it comes to videography. Videography, she's one of the best. Brandon, I haven't heard much of his, but I've never had a bad thing to say about Brandon. However, everybody seems to take issue with what I say about Tom. And that's the fact that Tom relies too heavily on his political songs. And... He's become a one-trick pony. Now, never have I said that his political songs are wrong, none of that. But, just by saying he's become a one-trick pony, um, he needs to quit relying so heavily on his political songs. I am called a snowflake, a fake fan, offended... So, essentially, his fans are just reiterating his songs to the comment section when someone is overly critical over the artist. <clears throat> now, shit. I was kicked from the group and I can only assume for being overly critical. And when anytime somebody would call me out and say that I was being a fake fan or whatever, that I wasn't really a fan because I was being too harsh about his music, the only thing I could respond with or would go through my head is wouldn't that make me more of a fan because I know what he's capable of and people are like well then you would see his message You're like no I see his message I've heard the message for the last couple years the last two years I have been top 5% or some shit of like that listeners on Spotify. However, if you go back and you look, he his top song, most viewed song is sober. It has nothing to do with politics. But He's found a fan base who typically doesn't like rap. And you see it every every video. You see it in the comment section. Oh, I typically don't like rap. I'm such and such years old. And I don't like rap, but I like this. He's found a fan base that does not like rap. Because they don't like everything he stood against which was you know I've got bitches I've got or I've got Xanax bars blah 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 and even in one of his older songs he's talked about how he doesn't repeat the same thing he, that's what's that's what got him famous he didn't repeat the same things but then he fell in line with repeating the same things. 
it may not be what he deemed as terrible, the bitches and Xanax bars, which, you know, yes, that's, that's terrible to the culture of anybody. But, if you listen to the message, it's always the same. And he made a post on uh, YouTube about this, talking about how people hate me because I'm not rapping about the same Xanax and bitches or something like that. I made a comment saying, no, it's not that. It's the fact that you dipped into politics and you refused to leave. If it was maybe one song every so often, I wouldn't have an issue with it. But now, it's come to a point where I don't even listen to his newer songs until I look at the comments and see is this a political song or not because I've already heard all the points he's got to make. I think across the last couple, there's been a few points that were newer points, but they were also outdated points. They were points that were that could have been made a couple years ago and they'd have been fine, but now it's more of an outdated thing. <clears throat> Sorry. So, I made that point, and every time I've made something critical against him, and I, I say critical because I am a fan. There's been nothing but hatred come my way. Do I care? No. No, I don't. Bring it. That's, that's all I can say. I've been listening to him for a lot longer than some of you. So it doesn't bother me. However, what does bother me is the fact that in that group, in comment sections, he'll reply to the people who are kissing his ass, but if somebody is overly critical or they have anything negative to say, he just, he downright ignores it. You can go on there and say, oh man, this was fire, blah, 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 I loved it, and he'll respond. But the second you go in there and you're, you're actually a fan trying to bring the old Tom out, the Tom who legitimately did not care. I'm talking the white boy Tom, the uh, the uh, the castles, hell of it. This house, that version of Tom, talking about trying to bring him out. He he completely ignores him because that's not where his fan base is. His fan base doesn't want that. His fan base doesn't want the hard, the hard rap. They want, they want what they want to hear. They want somebody who's going to agree with them. Not somebody who's going to just go off to go off. That's why you're hearing less and less songs like Sober. Whether you agree with me or not, it doesn't really matter. This video was meant to bring light to the fact that 
Tom is not Tom anymore. Tom got a taste of the politics side of the group. Where in 2020 he was making a song about you should wear your masks. And then two years later he was, wearing, he was making a song talking about everybody's brainwashed. And not wearing masks. Sure, everybody can change their political views. I understand. But when it comes down to stuff like that, that's a major switch in two years. I'll catch y'all later.